One of the most awesome features of Excel is the XLOOKUP function. This new function makes doing lookups on your data really simple. I have previously talked about this function a lot on my channel. You can catch the XLOOKUP introduction video up there or in the video description. But today, let me share with you an amazing and really cool way to enhance your XLOOKUPs and do multiple criteria lookups. This is gonna certainly level up your productivity and impress everyone. I've got some cool examples to show to you. Come, let's go there. Let's cover the basics first. Let's say you have got some data like this and you want to look up the person whose age is 23 and who works in the sales department. Now, as you can see, we have got quite a few people who are 23 years old. So there's at least three of them in the data. And we want to know out of these three people who are 23 years old, who belongs to the sales department. If you're wondering who that is, it is Camilla. So we are really after this person here, but we want to do a lookup. This is how you do the X lookup. You say X lookup and we always look up one. That is the lookup value. I'll explain why this is a one and not seven or 92 in a minute. And we are gonna open a bracket and for each criteria you have, you're gonna have one set of brackets. So first bracket and then the lookup array would be, let's stick the age column here and then say equal to 23. For the second criteria, before you do that, you need to put a multiplication sign that is asterisk or star and then open the second bracket. Department is equal to sales. You can point to the cells or you can also write the criteria in double quotes or whatever. So once these two criteria are done, then we say comma and then we specify the return value. In this case, we want the name, so we're gonna select that column. And optionally, you can also say what to show if there is no such person. So for example, I can say no such person. Close all the brackets and hit enter and we are gonna get Camilla's name as the answer here. And you can double check this with the data. It confirms that Camilla 23 sales. Let's test this for somebody else. Maybe what if it is 24? We'll get Brian's name, which is again here, 24 sales, and that's the value. Now, how about three conditions? Here I have got already the formula written. Age is 32, department is ops, and gender is male. So this is how the formula would be X lookup one, each criteria, because we've got three criteria, we've got three sets of brackets, each multiplied with the star. As I said earlier, why are we looking up one? Why not seven or 92? This is because each test that we are doing here, each bracket is one test, returns a set of Boolean values, false or true. False if the person's age is not 32 and true otherwise. So for example, if I select this, and when I hover my mouse on it, Excel shows me that all of these values are false, except where the person's age is 32. In those cases, it will be true. And when you have multiple criteria, because we are using star, we are multiplying these Boolean values. So whenever Excel multiplies true or false values with another set of true or false values, it's gonna automatically convert them into number representation. And in Excel's world, false is zero and true is one. So for that reason, it's gonna basically convert everything do the multiplication and produce a big array of zeros and ones. And it will be zero where the condition has failed and one where all the criteria have satisfied. So you can see that when I hover on my mouse on this, it shows me a bunch of zeros, but there is a single one which corresponds to Gunnar's name, who is 32 years old, male and works in the ops department. So that's why we look up for one, because we want to see where all the criteria have met. And because we have got multiple criteria, we're multiplying and when you multiply, it's no longer true or false, it all gets converted into zeros and ones. Now here I have got four more advanced examples. These kind of show you the versatility and power and really why I think this is one of the coolest things in Excel. So let's say you want to know whose age is more than 30. So we're not looking for a specific age, but gender is male. Obviously, there's going to be multiple values like that, uh, but we just want to look up the first one. Later on, I'll tell you how to look up all of the values. So in this case, again, we say X lookup one, open bracket, age column, greater than and 30. So you don't have to say equal to always, you can say greater than, less than as well. Close bracket, 
open bracket and then again do a multiplication on gender gender is equal to male close bracket comma and then let's select the name column and when you hit enter you're going to get the first such person if your data has multiple people meeting this criteria then it's going to just tell you this is the first person who satisfied that criteria so in this case you can see that andrea here the very first row 53 years old male so already meeting the criteria so it's not going down and looking up for example bar bar is 42 and male they also satisfy this criteria but we are not going to get their name anymore because xlookup has already found its answer let's test this if i put it to 50 again it's still andrea because andrea is 53 years old uh, if i say 54 we don't have anybody such like that so we're going to get na because we have not found the answer if you want you can give what to do when the value is not found by specifying an alternate input let's go to the second example in this case the name begins with the letter d we don't know the full name of that person and they could be in either hr department or ops department so we don't know their exact department either this is kind of like a clue as a detective you have to figure out who that is again xlookup comes into rescue here we can say xlookup one open bracket and first criteria is name begins with the D. So that means the leftmost letter of the name column should be D. So we are going to say left of name column comma one is equal to D. So that's the first criteria. Again, here the awesome thing to note is you don't always have to refer a column by itself. You can pass that column to another function like left or something so that it can do some additional processing on it and then do the comparisons. Multiply this with the second condition. Now here is the tricky bit. The second condition is not a single department. It could be either HR or ops. So it's an either or kind of a setup. And to do this, we have to open one more bracket. This is where things are gonna get a little bit dicey, but once you see the whole thing, it all makes sense. So here, for each department, we have to write one condition. So this one is equal to HR plus, because we have got multiple conditions, we use plus. Plus means this and that or that. So it combines both conditions. Again, one more time, we select the department and this one is equal to ops. Here I'm hard coding the values, but if you have got them in the cells, you can just point to them as well and close all the brackets. So if you notice the construction of this little condition here, this condition is actually twofold. First, we are doing an OR operation to the plus. So it combines HR or OPS values. HR check is going to return a bunch of true or false. OPS is also going to return a bunch of true or false. And when you plus them, wherever either value is true, it's going to be true in the net result. Well, it won't be true anymore. It will be converted into a number representation. So wherever it, if, if the person is in HR or OPS, the net result would be it will be one for them, otherwise it will be zero. I'll show you how that output looks like. So when I select this and hover my mouse on it, you can see that a bunch of people have ones and some people have zero because they don't belong to either HR or ops departments. So once all of this is done, then we are multiplying that with the name condition and then we want the name of the person itself. Close bracket, we are getting NA. I'm gonna just double check to see. So we've got actually two people both whose names begin with the letter D, so Denison and Doty, neither of them are in the HR or Ops department. That's why our lookup has failed. But now let's change this. Let's get into something like M and we'll get Madeline. Madeline is here. I can see that they belong to the Ops department, which satisfied our condition. So we have also got Mallory and Marnie, but they are in the sales department. So they're not part of this check. They fail that and Madeline kind of passes through. Let's do one more, which is on a date condition. So here I have got date joined and I know that the person's age is more than 40 and they have joined in the Q2 of 2025. So that means not the first three months, but after that. So April, May, June. If you look at our data, the date joined, we only have people who joined in Jan, Feb, March and April. So that means I really want to just check for April, but I want to make it a Q2 check. So how do we do this? Again, X lookup, lookup value is always one. The first criteria is, let's do this on age. Age is greater than 40. 
and the second condition is date now the date itself we want to check whether that date is in the q2 so how do we do this this is really simple rather than checking on the date itself we can pass this to the month function month of date joined so this is gonna return the month number it will be one for jan and four for april and then we just check whether that month number is between uh, four and six either of those values inclusive so this is going to be greater than or equal to four which corresponds to april and the second condition for the date is it has to be before june or the month has to be less than seven uh, so again one more time we say month of that less than seven so this is basically checking is the month number between four and seven in four, including four but not including seven so once these conditions are satisfied then i want the name of the person and when you hit enter you're going to get andrea as the answer now remember there might be more than one matching value in all of these situations so how do we deal with it how do we get all the names of the people who have joined in q2 of 2025 and who are more than 40 years old so in this case the conditions and everything is same so i'm just gonna uh, kind of copy the condition part and this time we are going to say filter and use the filter function so xlookup looks up first matching value whereas filter can give you all the values so filter we want the name so the with the thing with filter is with filter you first tell what you want to filter so here i want the name so i'm going to say filter the names and then the second bit include is your condition so here you write your multiple conditions including that stars and pluses and whatnot and if empty is an optional op operator that you can give so for example here i can say um, no such employee and close all the brackets i think we're missing a closing bracket here and when you hit enter we'll see all the people who have joined in the q2 of 2025 and who are more than 40 years old so here the names are andrea jan and obi I'm just going to double check this by applying filters on this data. Select just April because we don't have any other name months there. And from this itself, we can see who is more than 40 years old. So we have got Andrea, Dottie is not there, Jan and Obi and Rafaelita is exactly 40. So they're also, also not meeting this criteria. And we got the same names, Andrea, Jan and Obi. So that's what filter can do. It can filter and give you all the multiple results. They can spill down the values there, or you can kind of add them into one cell using some other function like concat or text join. So what do you think about these cool XLOOKUP multiple criteria tricks? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know more about XLOOKUP, check out this video. You'll also see me in a ridiculous rockstar getup there. And before you go there, feel free to like this video and share it with some of your friends. I'll catch you out there. Bye.